what it is you do, man. Big T Lord, man. Before we get started, make sure you like my shit, comment, and subscribe, show it support. All right, man. Make sure you turn your notification bells on so you know when I'm dropping any new content, man. Man, let's jump into it. Look, man, I watched the press conference with uh Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Of course, man. Hold on, guys. All right, man. Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that. But I watched it, man. And let's get let's jump into it, man. Let's jump into it. Uh, I'm going to play a few clips from the press conference, man. And uh, it was funny, man. But I think uh, Mike back on Mike shit, man. You know what I mean? He's back on his, his shit where he used to be at, you know, when he'd be in the press conference in the old days. So I will play a few clips from listening to Jake Paul and play a clip, man. Listen to Mike. Y'all look at this. So, your Iron Mike, man, the baddest man on the planet. How's this fight gonna go, man, with the, against this Disney kid? Hey, listen, right? It was good why it lasted for Jake, okay? It was good why it lasted. I'm not gonna last much longer. You're fat, Jake. Mike, Jake Paul has aspirations to be a world championship level boxer. From what you've seen so far, will he be a world champion boxer someday? He's, hey, let me just be honest. He's improved a lot. Yes, he did improve a lot. But he's not going to have a good night when he fights me on July 20th. Every win you get, every knockout you get, you seem to level up, but there's still people. There's haters against you. There's people that say you aren't a real boxer. If and when you beat Mike Tyson, is this the fight that puts the stamp on Jake Paul, the boxer? Yeah, 100 percent. They say he's the baddest man on the planet, so let's find out. I, apparently, he's the final boss, moving up the heavyweight and continue to prove all these dumbasses wrong. That's what I do my whole entire life. Boo yourselves. Boo yourselves. Jake, I will say this. It's, it's one thing to fight athletes, another thing to fight KSI. What in the hell went through your mind when you said, you know what, I want to fight Mike Tyson. I love the biggest challenges in the world. That's what's made my whole entire career is taking big risks. And I, I want the toughest guy out there. I want the biggest fights. And making history is what I've done my whole entire career. And this is no different. Netflix, Mike Tyson, it doesn't get any bigger than this. And everyone will see July 20th. I will prove them wrong once again. I think you're suicidal. I think you're suicidal. That's what I think. How do you respond to people who are critical about this fight taking place in the first place at all because of your differences, particularly your age. Well, I don't see too many people critical about it. Look at this. Ha ha ha. Critics, I mean. Excuse me? Critics, you know, people who? in the industry. Tell me who. Name us somebody. Folks, you? Folks who say it. Thanks. Yeah, no, thanks. My question's for Jake. Jake, you say you want to be a serious boxer and you want to be a contender and be a title holder. So then when, at some, it, in, when in your career are you going to actually fight a contender in your weight class and not do gimmick fights? I think he just called Mike Tyson a gimmick. Mike Tyson's 58 years old or will be at the time of the fight, yes. So, so as much as I respect him? Mike Tyson will you and his... Him? What did you just call me again? I didn't call you anything. What did you call me? I didn't call you anything. It's been four years in this sport, and I've done more to it than any boxer in the history of the sport. So in due time, sir, I will be fighting for a world championship, and I will be shutting you the f up and making you eat your own words, just like the rest of these fucking punks. What makes each of you so confident that you'll get the win come July 20th? I don't know. Picture me losing to him. You're, you're going to have a lot of pictures of it, Mike. Majority of your fights, we've certainly seen the power on display. Who, who did he move. knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. He's questioning your power, Jake. He's saying you haven't knocked out a legitimate fighter of his elk. He didn't knock out, he didn't knock out um, Tommy Fury. Your response to that, Jake? Hey, look, he's right. I, I, I can't stand here and say I did those things. But what I promise to the people is on July 20th, Mike will be put to sleep and he will feel my power. And I will go down as the man who put Tyson to sleep for the last time. Look here, man. Hey, man. Hey, I, I'm, I'm going to break down the fight, man. I'm going to uh, get serious for a minute. It was funny. But it was it was cool, you know. It's good PR, you know what I'm saying. So, but let's break down Jake Paul for a minute, man. I think Jake Paul, man, accomplished a few little things in boxing. You know, he, he's not a world class boxer. You know what I mean? Let's let's be real. Let's be honest. You know, if y'all think so, 
y'all Jake Paul fans, you know what I mean? Whatever, let me know in the comment section what you think. But I don't think he is a, he's a world-class boxer. Like a dude said in the press conference, hey, man, when are you going to fight a real contender in your weight class instead of trying to fight, you know, gimme, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case. And, you know, I, I understand what dude was saying. He wasn't saying Mike was a gimme or nothing like that. But, you know, face somebody in a real, you know, boxing match, man, with, you know, real contenders and stuff like that. So. Somebody want to see that, you know what I mean? Instead of, you know, walking around, calling yourself, you know, the man, you do this, you can do that. Instead of doing all that shit, man, just, you know, really get out there and fight somebody. Problem is, nobody want to take him serious. I think that's a lot of it, man. But let's break down some of his, some of his greatest hits, man, or whatever the case. You know, it ain't like he's going around knocking people out. You know what I'm saying? If all Tyron Woodley. He fought Nick Diaz. I mean, Nick Diaz. He fought Anderson Silva. You know what I mean? He, he's fighting these guys, man. And they're way past their prime. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about way past. You know what I'm saying? And, and furthermore, they are MMA guys. Like I said, man, it's a difference between MMA and boxing. So I think Jake is kind of getting his, you know, getting his kudos, get his points off, you know, trying to build up a record so to speak, same way like Ryan Garcia did, you know what I mean? YouTube would try to be boxer and stuff like that. So I think he's trying to get to that status as Ryan Garcia has made, you know what I mean? So I think Jake Paul is trying to, you know, get to that point. But, you know, he fought all these guys, and true enough, he won. He knocked some of them out, you know what I'm saying? And he won by, you know, majority decision on some of them, you know, stuff like that. Then when he fought Tommy Fury, man, you know, I think it was a, it was an okay fight for him. You know, I think he got a chance to just kind of see the, the rugged side of a person, you know what I'm saying? Somebody just, you know, kind of making a fight rugged and stuff like that. So I got, he, you know, I think he just getting his experience of it when it comes to, you know, fighting no type of dudes or whatever. But I don't think they real contending guys, man. You know, they're not in the top 10. They're not in the, you know, they're not on the IBF list, and, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and all that. they're not ranked in no form of fashion. So, you know, once you go in and fight somebody that's, that's, that can really box, you know what I'm saying, that can really, you know, really, you know, have ring IQ and stuff like that, man. Once he fights somebody like that, then somebody might give him some credit. You know, whether he win or lose, you know what I'm saying? Somebody might give him some credit, man, that I think, you know, uh, he got in there with a with a real fighter, then he went the distance or, you know, he lasted long or he did better than people thought he would and whatever the case. So um, I think with that being said, you know what I mean? If he does do that, let this up, guys. Got a truck back and right next to me, so... I think if he do that, man, and fight somebody in that, you know, far as far as in that in that in that category, you know, I think it'll it'll kind of it'll kind of build him up as far as you know him being a legit boxer. You know, like I said, whether he win or lose the fight, you know, we, we won't know. You know what I'm saying? So, man, uh, with that being said, man, let's take a look at some of Jake the. Uh, little training, man, the training he's been putting in over time or whatever, not just for the mic fight, but just some of the training he does, man. And, and y'all, let me know what y'all think. I have to see the cop. I have to see the clip. Let me know what y'all think, you know, where you fit at, man, as far as in, 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 in the boxing ranks, man, or whatever. So y'all check out this clip, man. Your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. Woo. Mikey, Mikey, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. Whoop. It's day one, the fun just begun. Day two, we're getting ready for you. Day three, you still want to fuck with me? Day 
day four, you know, it was okay. But you don't know what you got in store, baby. You got to face the God of war. And get ready, baby. Fire in the house. Yeah. I'm from Basic. Do it, it's okay, but you, you got out of arm's way. That's 30 you, seconds. You moved. You moved your head. You did okay. And So, I mean, like I say, man, he's putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I think he's kind of, you know, one dimensional, you know. He, he He's not a very defensive dude. You know what I'm saying? He's focused with a lot of on offense and all that. And so, whether he got power or not, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the power that he has or don't have, and I don't really know, but everybody looks good in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Every every fighter looks good in the gym, you know, hitting the speed bags or hitting the mitts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looks good. But when it comes down to real fights and stuff like that, man, Jake Paul just really ain't showed me nothing, man. That I'm going to say, oh, yeah, man, he, he, he's something to be, you know. I think like like Ryan Garcia, he he really, you know, even though Ryan trolling and doing all this stuff with the arrow spins, but Ryan has put in a little work, uh, but he's still one-dimensional, too. You know what I'm saying? So I see him in... Jake Paul the same, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going to see how he fair against Mike, man, because like I said before, when he he loses to Mike, they're going to say he lost to an old man, right? If he win against Mike, they're going to say he fought an old man and he won. Mike was too old or whatever, whatever. So it's a catch-22 for him whether he win or whether he lose. So if he loses, it just really looks bad for him. You know, if he wins, then it's kind of, ah, uh, you know, you're supposed to win. You're a young dude. He's an old guy. So that's kind of how they're going to look at it and how they're going to try to frame it. You know what I mean? But if he, you know, get knocked out by Mike, look bad against Mike, oh, man, they're going to roast him. They're going to roast him. He, he's not going to have a chance. You know what I'm saying? He may not even think about fighting nobody else. If he looks bad, man, and he get knocked out or hurt any kind of any kind of way, Oh, bro, he, he may well not even fight no more. He, he, he better not call out nobody. You know, nobody, man. So it's all about his performance rather than Mike's performance. You know what I'm saying? Well, people, you know, people want to see how Mike looked too at his age. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of people want to see that. Want to see if Mike can still move. Can he take a punch? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Because him and that Roy Jones, and, you know, Roy Jones still trying to be Roy Jones like he was in his. 20s and 30s, he just wasn't that guy no more. You know, but he wasn't going to stand there and bang. Rojo ain't never been that kind of guy. So, but if Jake Paul standing there and bang with Mike, we'll see how Mike fair against him, you know what I'm saying, and how he fair against Mike. But I don't think Jake want to get into that bang contest, stand there and trade blows with Mike, you know what I'm saying? Because remember now, he got to pick up weight to try to fight Mike. So, that extra weight, man, is going to, you know, wear on him and you know, Mike going to hit him in that gut, man. It's, 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 I'm telling you, it's, it's, going, it's not going to be good for Jake. Now, if Jake get on his bicycle, you know, and try to jab and, you know, try to keep Mike off of him, you might have a chance. But he let Mike get in the inside, it's a done deal. Mike is Mike going to rip him, man. So I think me as a coach, if I'm a coach or something, and I'm training Jake Paul, I would say, hey, man, keep your distance. You know, try to keep Mike off him. Don't try to go in there with no, you know, try to go in there and bang with him, man. It's not going to last long. You know, it's not going to be good for you if you try to go in there and bang with it. So, you just, you know, there won't be no wide decision. So, me, man, I would tell him, hey, man, keep your distance. Jab, jab, you know what I'm saying? Keep Mike off of you, you know what I'm saying, on whatever case. But, you know, your jab going to be your best friend in that in that fight. And you're going to have to really hit Mike with something to make him not come to you. You know what I mean? If he ain't got that, if he ain't got that kind of power to keep Mike back, long night for Jake. So that's what you're going to have to do, man. You're going to have to really, you know, do something to keep Mike at bay. If not, Mike going to get in the inside like he always do. 
you know, uh, he, you know, my high, he had a high guard and stuff, man. He, you know, saying he get in, playing one of them good body shots, man, or overcut or something. Like, like Jake, this, I'm sorry, man. If y'all, hey, let me know in the comment section what y'all think how it's gonna go down July 20th with these guys, man. So I know the fight is a is a about a month or so off, man. You know what I mean? But you know, we got other fights in between that, but. You know, it's interesting, man, to see the press conference and, you know, to see these guys talk back and forth and, you know, get the questions from the media and all these people, you know, to see how they're going to respond, you know, how they respond to each other, you know, them talking trash to each other and stuff like that. So, but, you know, I don't think Jake Paul wins anyway. To be honest, it's all about how he's going to look. Like I said before, it's how he looked against Mike. So, if I'm a betting person, my money on Mike. You know, they're just where it is. I don't see Jake Paul with him, man. So my money's on Mike, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Think Mike Tyson's going to win knock by knockout of the season? Or you think Jake going to win by knockout of the season, man? Y'all let me know in the comment section on what y'all think. And and I give y'all my take. Break down my, my assessment, my take. I think Jake Paul can't take no body shot. Not for Mike. I think a body shot going to put him down. And I think a body shot probably going to end the fight, to be honest. I could be wrong, but I'm just, you know, as far as head hunting, if Mike catch him, he catch him. But I think Mike going to go to that body first. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's what I think is going to happen. So a betting person, Mike wins, you know, TKO style. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be a, a TKO victory for Mike. And uh, whether he knocked Jake Paul out, you know, or not, is kind of, you know, it's just not unheard of, not for, you know, it's not like it's impossible, but by the shot, going to end the night for him. Like I said, all the way Jake wins, you got to get on his bicycle. He's going to have to keep the jab in Mike's face and really hit Mike with something every now and again to keep him at bay. So it's going to have to happen. If he ain't got that kind of power to keep Mike back, especially Mike being the age he is, but you can't keep him back. Oh, bro, this is going to look bad on you. It's going to look terrible for that boy, man. So he's going to have to do something to really make that happen. So that's my take, man. The prayer conference was cool. Like watching the guys, you know, go back and forth. Of course, nice to see Mike back in that element. You know, seeing him talk trash to the media. You know, talk trash to Jake. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Ask a few questions. Stuff like that, man. And Jake Paul being Jake Paul. You know what I mean? You know, it's it's not that nobody don't like Jake. It's just the fact that he's arrogant and he hadn't fought nobody. So you were the definition of not fighting anyone. So and I think that's what it is. And I think he upset because he don't get no respect for it. So you know, that's just my take, man. That's what I think on it. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. You know, think Tyson wins or you think Jake Paul wins, man. Let me know in the comment section. But in the meantime, between time, man, make sure you like my shit, comment, and subscribe. And boy, with you, boy, with you, boy, man. It's your boy, BTU, man. I'm out of here.